right hello hello everyone happy october that means it is time for spooky season for those of you interested the new coloring heaven halloween special is out at walmart in the u.s now they have been getting it out a little earlier so a us in the u.s could enjoy the halloween specials as well so that is what we will be kind of doing a flip through of today this is 48 spooky cute designs from agatha pop francis got here jen katz coloring book cafe white stag and creative haven um, so we will take a look inside. I am a little disappointed in this book and we will talk a little bit about it, but I think that's a good reason to do a flip. Um, cause I'm sure I'm not the only one who is a little disappointed in this Halloween special. So let's take a look. So starting right off, I can tell you this is probably the Agatha Pop, Agatha Pop. I'm not sure how you say her name. I apologize. Um, but she does these very cute little mini images and I do enjoy these. So I am happy to see her appearing in Coloring Heaven. So there's some more very cute little quick easy cutesy images and hers are called Halloween tinies and she does have an Etsy shop and all that if you are interested in her work she does do very cute stuff I've seen a lot of her stuff on Instagram I haven't done a deep dive on her uh, I need to and then we start with pumpkin cutie so this is coloring book cafe now, I do enjoy Coloring Book Cafe. I used to buy their books all the time. Um, it's not specifically I have an issue with Coloring Book Cafe being in here, but a lot of the book is Coloring Book Cafe, and a lot of these images are, um, these ones are newer, but a lot of them are from way older books. So this one is Graveyard Ghoul. Coloring Book Cafe, Birds. So this is like their chibi, scary movie book. I don't know the exact title on it, but. Cursed. And these are very cutesy. I could get into these images. Again, it is not um, that I am disappointed Coloring Book Cafe is in here. I'm just disappointed that it's so much Coloring Book Cafe. And I feel like I was really looking forward to the bigger name artists. And I know some of them are having troubles in other countries and haven't been producing work and probably weren't quite ready for the holiday season. Um, with wars and natural disasters and things like that and I do understand that um, but this is the time of year you know I was really looking forward to some Mariola Budak, some Enos because that's the only time I get Enos Guerrero's work is usually in Coloring Heaven and in the Halloween or the goth images so I was kind of looking forward to seeing some of her. Um, Hannah Lynn usually has some cutesy Halloween out um, so while I do enjoy this book and I do think I'll get my money's worth out of it, I was just hoping there were going to be a few more kind of the bigger name, maybe some newer ones we hadn't heard of, um, along those lines. So here we are on page 11, still coloring book cafe. And this one is out of, they have a witch one. this is out of and I do feel like they should have maybe put which book their stuff was out of because like I said they are well drawn images um, they picked good books to pull images from as far as coloring book cafe goes but I could have had all 31 pages for six or seven dollars now instead of you know 20 of them out of three different books for 15 so broomsticks and we are on 15 and we are still coloring book cafe so 16 17 we got a Ouija board old friends And I think out of all the images they did pull, I only have like one of the actual Halloween books. Um, so I don't have myself have a bunch of repeat images, but if you have been buying budget um, books, you know, you'll probably have more repeats than I. So here is Jen Katz from like 3 to 20 was Coloring Book Cafe. And then we have some Jen Katz and she does great work. I have nothing against her. I'm glad to see her make an appearance in here. She has very cutesy type images too, hand drawn. Got some.
mushroom homes here fit that nice fall theme. Sorry, sliding around a little bit. Okay, and now we're back to Coloring Book Cafe. So now we're, you know, we got a mandala thing going on here, which is fine. There are mandala lovers. And I honestly don't know that these are my thing. <laughs> um, I struggle with repeated patterns anyway, but um, these ones are just really not my not my forte. I'm sure someone will do them up beautiful. Though. Okay, and then this is the book I have, so I do believe it is just called Halloween or something. But um, so again, very very cutesy. They are well drawn. They're not cut off. You know, they've got a good amount of detail to them. They they did pick good pages. I just... <laughs> Again, here we are. Just coloring book cafe, coloring book cafe, coloring book cafe. This one is cute. I am tempted to do this one and kind of draw the fence in behind him and do a see-through ghost. But I haven't decided yet. Okay, and now we have Creative Haven. So, you know, they are the other, they're a budget coloring book. They have lots of artists that work for them. So they've pulled some of their designs, which they also did great in picking and choosing their designs, I feel like. They got a wide representation. But it also does tell on you by David Edgerly and Chris Edgerly via Creative Haven. So they do kind of tell you the artists that they belong to, whereas Coloring Book Cafe is just Coloring Book Cafe. I do think this would be pretty to put her in a bright red dress to match this rose and then put a nice big moon and then just do a blue black background and really pop her out. I just gotta figure out how to do it without with going around all them stars. <laughs> Alright, so there's some sugar skulls. And the Reaper. Always enjoy a good Grim Reaper. The Matador. So we are still by David and Chris via Creative Haven. And then we have some White Stag. And as you can see, she did, she continued the lines through her ghosts. So her ghosts are little see-through guys, which I think is a perfect touch. It really helps people kind of... You know, she, she did it real light, real dainty, but enough where you can see it so that you can make them translucent. So, I do like white stag. I don't own any white stag books, so the only white stag I have colored is actually in a coloring heaven, an annual one myself. So, But she does have the spook factor down good. Beyond the Grave. Headless. The portrait. And they do have quite a few white stag in here, so I do appreciate that. This is actually my full first full sit down and look through the book. I did peek through it at the store, and that was when I realized how much coloring heaven was in it. Um, and then Francis got here, and I know not everyone loves him because he does tackle more of the um, gory, bloody kind of side of things you know you got eyeballs you got guts you got blood and so I know he is not um, everybody's favorite but he is he is uh, still making books and they're doing quite well so good for him if I were a little better at goats and gore it might be my thing too but no <laughs> so boy, bones and eyes and I do believe his newest book is actually at Walmart right now I can't even think of what it's called but he does have a new one out right at the moment. I want to say it's called Nightlife or something, but I can't remember now. Too many books today. <laughs> Crystal Skull. And then
and then that is our 40th image so there is the halloween special by coloring heaven again lots of great options there are a lot of great pages to color i just wish we would have got to see some more of our favorite artists and that might have been out of coloring heaven's control but there is the flip through decide as you wish questions comments requests anything like that let me know and i hope to see you next video happy coloring